I know how excited he has been for today. We're gonna do an easy at home. This testing day is after our third IUI. We would be moving on to IVF. And we're gonna do a first response. So there are some differences in how I feel right now. Debbie, Debbie, swirly, swirly. Versus how I typically do feel. Everybody. It is single here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I and it is Jack. Y'all are doing super, super, super well. Bubby? Yes. What day is it? It's pee on a stick. <laughs> I was making the bed this morning and Jack came in. And I know how excited he has been for today, which we'll get into that in just a second. But I went to the bathroom and made sure to collect the first morning pee. But I didn't test yet because I knew that Jack obviously would want to be there. Yeah. He's very excited. Does anyone else think that literally their significant other just straight up peed on a stick? You can do that, but oh, okay. in order to like dip multiple and if you're not sure and you want to dip again, like you should collect it. You yeah, know? it was a strange realization like going into the bathroom one time and just seeing you like... And just seeing my collection. Yeah, because like my only other reference I have to that is like my dad pH testing the pool. So, <laughs> so he comes in, I'm making the bed, and, and he. <laughs> this is my impression of you this morning. You oh, know? Uh, I'll come around the corner. <laughs> just like now, staring. do you want me to do it again? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. we'll do it right now. Okay? Yeah, coming into the bedroom. Piano stick day. <laughs> so before we dippy dippy swirly swirly our pee stick. I wanted to give an update on any symptoms that I am feeling or honestly lack there of symptoms that I am feeling and then I also want Jack to give his perspective. Oh my gosh, I, Bub, I did not I did not think about it like this until right now. Like I, like I think I knew, but like I didn't really like process it. What? But like this testing day is after our third IUI and more than likely we would be moving on to IVF. Mm -hmm. After this, mm -hmm. like this is what this testing day means to us right now. Yeah. So either way, <laughs> it's the start of the rest of our lives, baby. That's Jack's favorite saying throughout this entire journey. Today is the start of the rest of our lives. Today could be, but could now be. it is. <laughs> yeah. All right. First, me, the host of potential the child. Host. If you ask me if I was experiencing any symptoms, I would say absolutely not. Literally none. My boobs aren't even sore. Like, there's just nothing you going on. You do, I do not need you to check. But there are some differences in how I feel right now versus how I typically do feel at this point in my cycle. If I took a look at my app, my flow app that I use to track my cycle. I'm about three days out from the start of my period and by now I should be feeling like it is coming any day now. And I don't necessarily feel that. Do I feel anything in there? Yes. Like I have not felt a rush of cramping at all this week and normally and typically I definitely do. So that's different. To counteract that and not hang on to that too much, I have been eating a very fertile friendly diet and essentially what those foods that I've been eating that I showed you guys in a couple vlogs are meant to do is to balance out our hormones naturally. So since I've been eating a crap ton of pineapple, a crap ton of pomegranate juice, sweet potatoes, whole grains, like all of the goodies, it could have a positive impact on my PMS symptoms that I usually experience. So so that's just to kind of counteract the difference that we're experiencing there. What's the other one? What was I telling you? One other difference. Oh, it kind of goes along with this, but the other weird thing is we know now the pattern of when I take Clomid and what that means for my next cycle. Every single time I have taken Clomid, my next cycle 
starts a week early. My period comes a week early. And so based on that pattern that we have seen now three different times, because I've been on Clomid three different times, my period should have come like this past weekend, four basically. <laughs> now four different times. My period should have come like this past weekend and it's still not here and I'm three days out from it. So it should have come like five to seven days early based on the pattern that we usually see. But again, could be explained by the balancing hormone of the foods and everything like that. I don't know how powerful the foods or anything like that are, but if I'm not pregnant, then it's super interesting what these foods have done for my symptoms and for my hormone levels. I think that's super cool. So those are my symptoms. <laughs> Emotionally, how am I feeling going into this testing? Like I said on the vlog, it's very surreal that this is the last time that we will be testing potentially before moving on to IVF, which is this like big scary thing, you know, in my mind. But what's interesting is before, I was putting so much weight on the third IUI because it felt like the last stitch effort before moving on to more invasive things like IVF. But honestly, at the very start of this third IUI cycle, I've just found myself accepting what is and what is going to come for us. It is a very strange, peaceful feeling that I wasn't necessarily feeling before. And I told Jack this the other day in the car, like this whole month, I have almost known in my head that this isn't going to work for us. And I know that might sound negative, but there's nothing that tells us that this could work for us. Two failed IUIs trying for two years now, and I've never seen a real positive. But yeah, I'm going into this testing just accepting what will be. Does it mean that I won't be insanely overwhelmed with emotion if it is positive? Absolutely not. Like I will be like, I can't even explain the emotion that will ensue. But will I also not be sad if it's not? I'll definitely feel sad and I'll have probably tears, but I, I'm not holding on to that positive as tightly as I have in the past. Does that make sense? It does. It does make sense? Yeah. Okay. With those things, bub, how have you been feeling this cycle? My symptoms are <laughs> elated. Elated? <laughs> elated. Why are you elated? Three is a very special number to me. Mm. It's my lucky number. And at the beginning of this, we've always said, no always joke, like our fertility clinic is on the way to our gym, mm -hmm. coincidentally, which is funny. So every time we go to the gym, we pass it, and that's every day. And every day we say, Dr. Give us a baby! Give us a baby! And so literally, like, I think it's no coincidence that on the last one, there was so much trouble. Mm -hmm. I think you, I think your cervix hurt us and was like, we need to get this man doctor to give us a baby. To give us a baby. So he literally did the last IUI. So how yeah. funny would it be if on this one, he, we got he a baby. was the one that gave us a baby in, so, a, in a way. Yeah, and I know there's no there's no, no reason to believe that that'll work, but like, but we're that's really in my head. we're really into signs and feelings and things like that. So yeah, so you felt hopeful this whole cycle. No, I felt hopeful all the whole, time. The whole time. Yeah, all the time. But I'm like, I put my money in this one. In this one. <laughs> okay. I can't wait to see. I guess no matter what happens. No matter what happens. I can't wait to see. Should we dippy dippy swirly swirly? Are you gonna have a sibling? A new one no. to terrorize? Do you need multiple sticks at once? I think, yeah, we're gonna do an easy at home and we're gonna do a first response because this is a special occasion. Oh, you wanna test the water? Oh gosh, darling. That, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so we're going to what is test six days sooner? Like this could detect it six days before your missed period. Oh shit. That's why like it's first response, you know? Five seconds, wait. This one says wait three minutes. And then this one is also three minutes. I have my pee over here. I don't know if you can see it, but if you can, sorry. Dippy, dippy, swirly, swirly. Sprinkle the dust, Bubba. Oh my gosh, you see how much magic dust I just That's so that? much magic. That's crazy. Dust. I'm doing my part, okay? And then this one's what? Three minutes? This one's first response. This one is three minutes. Bye. Set a second timer for three minutes. Oh, I just had like feeling that brought me back in time. Do you remember when there was like only five minutes left till recess in middle school? That's what this feels like. We're literally waiting for recess. Five minutes until recess? Yeah, like you as a kid in the clock, there's like in the classroom. I don't know, you probably paid attention, but I was literally just like at the clock like 
The other thing that is interesting this time is I was able to test out my trigger shot. You guys already saw that in a previous vlog. That was cool. But just something to mention in case you all are new. Oh my gosh, what if they're new? Oh, if you're new. Hi. I'm Jack. I'm Matt. This channel is all about me, obviously. Obviously, it's all about him. <laughs> We've been on an infertility journey for two years now. This month, this April, like marks literally two marks two years. Wow. Since we started trying to grow our family. And I have a whole plan playlist that goes into all the details and all the treatments that we've done as well as just a video overviewing our journey up to this point so if you want you can go binge that i think the moment that we opened up about our infertility is when everything felt lighter there were definitely mm. heavy moments for sure like along the way but that's when it became just not as heavy yeah, I think like, or not a thing, I would just remember like when we were talking about it mm -hmm. and like if we were in public or stuff and like someone mentioned something about infertility or something like we'd, you know, shoot glances and we'd have to talk about it later. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of just like compression, it felt like. And now we have you all and we love you all so much. Moment of truth, <laughs> if this doesn't say anything, then it's okay either way, yeah, you okay. know? Okay. I think that is a negative if I ever did see one. <laughs> I'm so used to these. Yeah. But what's so interesting is since we tested out the trigger shot, mm -hmm. I finally got to see like what what it looks like. A actual second line looks like on these tests because at the easy at home ones, I've never seen a second line on mm -hmm. them. So I actually got to see that like it's not a myth; they're real. But I don't see anything on there. Do you see? Anything? I don't. Me neither. Okay. First response. is negative as well mm -hmm. for sure i don't see anything mm -hmm. if i try i could but then it, i think i'm just seeing an evap line maybe if i just like cover up this <laughs> i don't know if you guys will be able to see maybe i'll insert a picture but just trust me there is nothing on that baby oh man love that was a good try that was a good try yeah. a solid try Hello friends, it is Friday of the same week that you guys saw the last clips. I just wanted to pop on here with some coffee and some beautiful weather outside. It is like 60 something degrees today and my heart is very happy about that. I wanted to fill you guys in on the last couple days since that last clip. And you guys know I probably couldn't help myself. So I just ended up taking a cheapy test on Wednesday and Thursday and they both came back stark negative. It's nice to know what a really faint negative looks like on those tests now from my trigger shot so that I kind of just know right away when I look at them versus just like tricking myself into seeing a line. As much as I know we wanted to hold out hope for this one even though our test on Tuesday was negative, I think we both just knew deep down that it wasn't it and no amount of tests that we took afterwards would change that. And that was, and that was really sad. I had a phone call like 10 minutes later, which was a mistake, honestly, to have that, but I was able to kind of push aside my emotions and thoughts and feelings about it because that's just life. You got to keep going, you know? Jack was able to feel, and so he was he was really sad. And of course, seeing him really sad just breaks me. Um, I'm someone that kind of needs to process my emotions. Whenever I get news, with bad news specifically, I feel like I don't acknowledge it right away because I don't want to. <laughs> I'm really good at ignoring bad feelings and avoiding sad and negative feelings. Of course, that catches up with all of us. And so on yesterday, on yesterday, I just woke up feeling so sad. <laughs> Clearly, I'm still sad. Honestly, I feel a lot better today. I really do. But just thinking about how sad I was waking up yesterday just brings it all back. I literally opened my eyes yesterday feeling like there was just no good happening in our lives and I know that's not true but that's how it felt and that's a really dark place to be. I felt like there was no point in getting out of bed 
at all. I haven't felt like that in a really long time. I've seen really dark days before and these are included. It is really difficult to put into words how devastating infertility is. So if you're watching this and you're going through the same cycle of excitement, hope, and then devastation, and then excitement and hope, and excitement and devastation again, I am so sorry. I would not wish this upon anyone ever ever this is horrible <laughs> it's it, there's no sugarcoating it it's horrible but yesterday i was feeling extra low i felt like there was just nothing to look forward to almost like there's no reason to get out of bed because there's nothing to work towards or look forward to and although we have so much good in our lives and when i really put it into perspective we really do and i know that and i'm so grateful for it jack and i really don't have anything going on right now last year we were really busy with trips and seeing our friends and it was so great and although we were trying all throughout last year we had things to look forward to and kind of keep us distracted and excited kind of in the meantime and it was our first appointment with our fertility clinic last year so that was a major thing to look forward to but now we're just in the trenches of it and on top of that right now we just don't have anything to look forward to like nothing's really going on in our lives besides this so it feels so much more all-consuming when we get devastating news or when we get really excited and hopeful that's also all-consuming so this whole thing is just what we have right now so that's why I think the past few days have been really hard Jack and I have not left the state of Maine since July of last year and that is very rare for us we at least have long weekends here and there that we like to go explore and do things or at least a quick trip to get our mind off of things or to just go see something new and we have not done that since last July <laughs> and that is rare for us and so not having anything like that to look forward to or any new adventures and then on top of this it's just it all came crumbling down and I was having a lot of trouble seeing the good in anything yesterday so after what I'm calling my breakfast breakdown yesterday and Jack was also just sad along with me as well he declared and decided that we need to go somewhere that we need something to look forward to that we need to get away and we have planned like fake trips like three times throughout this winter because we have both been feeling like we just want to break and we want to get away several times this winter but we also have a goal of buying a family car later this year and so our mindset has been on saving for that but we also have to find a good balance on saving for something like a family car because we can't wait to start our family but also not putting our lives on hold for that when we're feeling so sad right now so Jack declared that it is officially time for a trip. At first it started as the general like, you know, I think we have to get away, you know, that type of thing. And then we always usually talk ourselves out of it. But literally jump from that morning to the evening after we had had dinner, we booked flights. Yeah. <laughs> and I cannot tell you how excited I am. Does it change anything that happened this week? No, but this has given me just something to look forward to and something to plan for and consume my thoughts with and i'm so excited and i'm so grateful to have a partner like jack that we can just do these things together and decide what is the priority right here right now when we're both just going through it we are both very sad right now. I feel like when people talk about their mental health and how they're doing or just talk about tough stuff in general, we all want to wrap it up in a pretty bow and kind of share how we've been feeling and then be like, I'm okay though, don't worry about it, I'm fine now. I felt like shit yesterday, but today I'm totally fine. Like, I feel like we feel that pressure in order to make whoever we're talking to feel better so they don't feel bad for us. But honestly, at the end of the day, I'm still sad. We're still sad. We're still sad. And I wish I could put a pretty bow on this vlog right now. I really do. But I also want to break that cycle of me feeling like I need to get on the other side of really hard stuff in order to talk about them because that's just not life, you know? Not everything is always going to be resolved super quick and I want to take you guys along on that and I want you to know that if you are feeling anything that I have expressed 
right now that you are absolutely not alone and you know what life sucks <laughs> sometimes life really sucks <laughs> either way i want to thank you all so much for just listening to me and for being here and for rooting us on one of my internet friends dm'd me the other day and asked if i regret sharing any of our infertility journey on the internet because of some of the hate comments or just the comments that come from pure ignorance and my response was absolutely not yes there are some really stupid people out there they're, they're so dumb but i have never felt less alone in something so hard in my entire life because we've shared it and that is all credited to you all i am dead serious your comments on my videos sharing us on you sharing your own journey and where you're at and what treatment cycle you're on and anything in between has truly touched my heart in a way that i never thought sharing this online could so i just need to thank you all so much Thank you so much and thank you for listening. If you all are new and this is the vlog that you're stumbling across, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I would love if you stayed. If you want to hit the subscribe button, make sure to do so down below because we upload videos like these every single Wednesday and Sunday and occasionally on Monday. Everybody do not forget to give this video a big old thumbs up and I will catch you in the next one, my friends. I'll see you later. Bye!